Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to Malt and Metal. Um, I've been kind of absent this week. Um, I describe why in the Epica video that I posted, so if you like Epica or you want to know why you subscribe to some jackass who doesn't post videos, go check out that video. Um, on a regular week, I, I'm usually not going to be able to post throughout the week because I am incredibly busy with school, um, so sorry. But you will hear plenty from me over the weekend. I'm trying to do a couple of videos tonight and um, then maybe a couple more tomorrow. On Sunday, I will be posting more Winter Sun. Everybody wants Winter Sun. So keep an eye out for that if you're excited to, for me to react to more Winter Sun. I'm going to be doing that on Sundays. I'm going to do at least one Winter Sun song until I get through a good part of their discography. Um, so that'll just be kind of like an ongoing thing. Uh, so, we are going to listen to Zornheim, Zornheim, Whom the Night Brings. Um, a good friend of mine suggested this, sent it to me in a Facebook video and told me very specifically, do not listen to this yet, I want to see it in a reaction video. And he sent it to me on, like, Tuesday, so I haven't listened to it yet. Um... He also said that he believes Karach Engren have found a match. So I am very excited to listen to this um, because I, I like Karach Engren a lot. So if this is anything like that, I'm sure I'm going to like this a lot. So without further ado, here we are. Zornheim, whom the night brings in a one, a two, a three. Sounds like 
casually. Nice. Okay, that was that was awesome. Short and sweet, to the point, very direct. Um, <clears throat> I think when uh, when I saw them being compared to Karak Angren, that I was expecting um, something a little different from the guitars and the drums. I was expecting something a little bit. Faster, something a little bit more symphonic, black metal, you know. Um, however, uh, I mean, this this was great. This was awesome. But I, I don't know. I, I didn't really get a whole lot of Karak Angren out of that. Um, so that's just a comment on the comparison that that was uh, that was made. Um, so that aside. Uh, this is really great. I really liked that uh, that violin part um, or the strings part behind the music. Dun 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 dun. I think that suited the music really well, and I, I liked that they uh, honed in on that at one point throughout the song towards the end. There, uh, I thought that was that was really nice way to kind of break up um, the song. The vocals were were fantastic. Um, the cleans were awesome. The the uh, the harsh vocals were awesome. When the clean vocals took it up higher to those higher octaves, I uh, immediately thought of a band called um, Dysphoria. And if you guys haven't heard of Dysphoria, uh, definitely check them out. Um, it's Dysphoria with an F because <laughs> metal. <laughs> we can spell things however the fuck we want. So anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was awesome. I I'm really excited to check out more of these guys. Actually, I'm going to go um, probably put on one of their albums um, here when I go get on my desktop. So, uh, yeah, that was awesome. All right, guys. Uh, if you like what I do, subscribe. If you want to watch me do some specific things, leave comments down there below in the bottom. And, uh... I hope you guys stayed metal this week, and I hope you guys stay metal throughout the weekend, and I hope you guys watch metal on things with me, and I say things about them, and I talk words at you. So, yeah, anyway, uh, keep an eye out throughout the rest of the weekend. I'll be posting some more videos, um, and then Sunday, Winter Sun, if you're looking forward to that, I am. I hope you are. I'll see you there. All right, guys, take it easy.